tough. You yeah. can either try and go around it or okay. or or you, you kind of have to go around it. Yep. Okay. Stretch that lip again. And you can get right in there and get that hair off. If you don't get that hair off, when they pant, it'll stick out. It's very unattractive. Here's another spot where I have a deep area. So I have to move that skin just a little bit so I can get to that hair. Again, I'm just skimming over her eyelids. She'll just close her eye right up. That's the safest way is to just let her close her eye. What about really old fingers that, you know, sit so hard sometimes? I'm using the edge of that clipper right there to make my line from the corner of the eye to the ear. Really old, you were asking about really old? Yeah, I'm having some problems with some of the uh, owners of this dog and seeing them that I can't, you know, touch this thing around anymore. Well, yeah, there comes a point sometimes when that's true. Or you change the style to fit okay. the dog's health. Yeah. Whatever that is. Okay, so when we set the V here on the front, why don't just take your finger and run it down the throat really gently with the head parallel to the tabletop. And where your finger starts to fall in, you want to stop your V just above that. So have to stand in the front to do that part. So right here is where my finger starts to dip in. So I'll start my V just in front of that and I'm gonna use the two corners of my clipper blade. One there and one there to set that V in. And then just draw a line from the V to the ear. And again on the other side, just draw that line from the point of the